Hello everyone, my name is Brian, and today I have an unboxing and a review for you guys. Before we begin, I just want to say this is my first unboxing, and I want to know if you guys want to see unboxings, or if you don't, um, just let me know down in the comments below, and if you want to see more unboxings, leave a like. And now, on to the video. Alright, so here's the box. Um, it has come from either Japan or China, I'm not sure. And some sort of, uh, definitely an Asian country because of the writing there, I'm not sure exactly what type of writing that is. Although I would guess Japan or China. Um, let's see, yes, China, there we go. Um, for those of you who can't already tell based on the bo box, I've gotten the Xing Xiao Mirror Magic Cube, or the Mirror Cube. Um, let's go ahead and open up this box, and one of the ways you can open up your Rubik's Cube boxes without breaking them is to open it up from the bottom here, just grab that little tab and pull, and here's the cube. So in the box, there's nothing else in there, in the box was just our cube and this booklet here. Let's see, using instructions of Xing Shell Magic Mirror Cube. From what I can tell, this is basically just telling us not to corner cut it or break our cube, whatever. We're going to ignore that. Alright, so here's our cube. Um, already, I like the look of it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see very well or not, but um, the stickers have a uh, has striping to it. It gives it a really good finish, although I think it might bother me if one of these centers is rotated. And I don't, and like rotate it around, and these aren't. So I'll have to make sure when I'm solving it that I don't do that. It looks good. Um, imagine this would be a very good looking cube just sitting on your shelf, but I think I'm going to want to play with it. So let's see how well it turns. Oh, wow. That is actually really good. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but um, this is actually a very quiet cube especially compared to my Rubik's brand, which is very loud. This one is really quiet. Um, Alright, let's see how well it corner cuts despite the instructions. Let's try half a QB. That, that did really well, a half a QB. Um, let's see, full QB. It barely corner cuts at a uh, full QB. I would say, for best corner cutting, try three-fourths of the QB max. Um, reverse corner cutting doesn't go that way. Alright, not very, not the best reverse corner cutting. Pretty good considering that it is reverse, but not a very large margin of error. Um, it does feel kind of oily, but that's just a sign of lubrication, which I like. Um, most Xing Shao cubes come pre-lubricated, um, and I really like how smooth this cube is. Um, I've actually heard about some problems from some people about them having their cubes be tensioned incorrectly. Um, this one so far doesn't really feel like it has that kind of problem. Yeah, all the sides feel really, really good. I don't think I'll have an issue with tensioning. Although, if your cube isn't tensioned properly, here, let me find the cap. Uh, there we go. Alright, if your cube is in tension properly, just move down the edges on the side, and you should see this little thing right here. Um, those little notches, your fingernails. You can just work the cap off, and underneath that's a screw for tensioning, I believe. Um, and then you can just stick the cap back on. Um, this is actually a really nice feeling cube and I'm guessing it'll look really weird when scrambled. Um, this is the checkerboard pattern right here. That looks cool. Let's see. Um, let's see what a uh, flower pattern looks like. Huh, that's funny. It's got these like pits and then these sticking up. 
That's cool. Let's see if I can fix this again. Um, there we go. Uh oh. Um, looks like a couple of the uh, centers got rotated. Don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, that definitely bothers me. Let's see. Um, use a uh, corner rotating algorithm. I think I'm going to use a corner rotating algorithm. Um, I don't. I don't think I did that right. Oh well. Good chance to scramble up the cube and solve. Um, I'm going to cut away here. And come back to you when the cube is solved. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think of that. Alright, we're back, and as you can see, I have managed to solve it. This cube isn't actually that difficult. It's about as difficult as a 3x3. Three three. Um, I would say difficulty, 3 out of 5 stars, with 3 being Rubik's Cube. The reason it doesn't get a 4 is because the colors, or the lack of colors, rather, doesn't really change much to solving the cube. It just, once you have an eye for this kind, for the kind of thing, it's easy because I found F2L is kind of difficult, um, if you know F2L. But, um, and just because you're looking for pieces the same size, you have to kind of eyeball it around the cube. And once you're used to it, I'm guessing that that won't be a problem. But at the beginning, it certainly is more difficult than the 3x3, three three, purely because the 3x3 three three colors are simple. On this, they're not. Um, however, uh, I do really like this cube. Seems good. Turning is excellent. Um, lubrication was really good. Uh, factory lubrication was really good. Um, I've heard really good things about uh, Xing Xiao cubes and lubrication, and so I like that part about Xing Xiao. And also, this cube was only three dollars on Amazon, so that's another good thing. Um, I'll make sure to leave a link to where you can buy this in the description below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you want to see more unboxings like this, and. Be sure to subscribe for more Twisty Puzzle videos. Thanks for watching.